Hi, I'm Adele. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, please click the, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button below and the bell because the bell tells you Adele's come out with a new video. And I do that all the time and trust me, you don't want to miss any. So what we're going to do today is show you how to create a res one of the resource binders that you can add to your library or start a library. So you have something to show you all the markers. Now, I don't know about you, I have tons and tons of markers. In this one, we're going to focus on markers. So here we go. I'm going to show you what I made already, and then we're going to do one together. This is my binder called markers. And so I went through all the markers that I have, and we all, all artists have tons and tons of art supplies. That's one of our favorite things is to go buy new art supplies and try this and try that. So I decided that Go, I'm going to take every single one of my markers and go through and decide. And I just focused on one color, blue. This is just the blue. And together, a little bit later in the video, so you've got to wait and see how we do this, I'm going to do it with red. But I show you, I take every single blue that I had in every single marker or pen or whatever it is and put a line so I can tell how thick it is, what color it is. Um, and here I have several pages of them. Here, look at all these. These, and then on the side here, tempera paint sticks. That's what this is. These three here are MC permanent marker, fine tip. So this is your resource library to go to. Here are oil pastels. I have several different brands that I use and they all are different colors. And so when you're in the middle of a painting and say, oh, I wanna use something else, but I don't know what, um, instead of taking out all your entire collection of markers and pens, etc. You can just go to your binder here and say, oh, I love this mark. I love this color. This is the one I want. And so this is how we're going to do it. And I want to show you how this gets in handy, why this is handy. I'm going to take this out. Okay. And look how easy I just, I have, um, uh, we're going to, in just a little bit, we're going to do them on watercolor paper. And then once I do it, I put it in a sheet protector and keep it in the binder. So this is my markers binder. So here, let's just say I have a painting that I'm working on and I want to add something. This is not a finished painting. I'm in the middle of it, but I can go through these and hold this up and say, oh, here is a thick mark. Do I want this kind of mark? Do I want a thin mark? And if so, which color, which marker? And so you can go like, oh, I might do this one. This I know isn't a blue. It just happened to be in there. So I just did it. It was looked purple, but it's a little light. And so I thought, oh, that one might be the right one. And look at this. Here are more blues. The line is a little thicker and all the variety of blues. This is another one. Just to show you these here and this are totally different oil pastels from different manufacturers. So this is Pentel and this one is Paul Rubens and they all have different colors. Even if they have one says ultramarine or cobalt, the manufacturers can do different colors. So that's the reason having all the manufacturers do different colors is why you want to have sheets like this to refer to. So you've got this, now you've seen this, you see why we're going to use it. And speaking of resource binder, I have a video that of another, um, um, that I add to my resource binder um, library and it's with painting guides. And take a look at this video right here. You've got to see it. It is a huge help and does the same thing that the markers do um, with your, with your library binder and um, with other paintings. You can you can have different things that you look at and try out so you know things ahead of time and it really helps you, especially if you're a beginner. So again, take a look at this video. So I'm going to put this aside and now what we're going to do is make some of these. And I cut out watercolor paper. I made sure that it would fit in my um, the sheet protector. So I had to cut some down, but that's what this is. And look at this. Here, here is my tray of all kinds of markers that I have. 
And if I just went in my storage locker where I keep all my art supplies and looked at this, it's just overwhelming. And so that's the other reason why I really like the resource, um, having resources, because you just go to it and it just takes no time. It's no stress. You're not afraid. Easy. Okay. So say with this one, and here's, I have a couple of sheets here. So say with this one, I'm going to do the reds. I'll start with, I started with this before. This is a, um, a Posca marker, a thick Posca marker. So there's that. And I'm also going to put it on the side to show I can do that side. So I have this one. And just to, to show you that I have other Posca, this is another Posca, these are Posca markers too, but they are thinner. They're thinner ones. And if I'm doing um, the reds, look at all the reds I have here. And I can even do this. This is like a pinkish, but I would go along and just go like this. This color, oops, and put this aside. These are uni Posca markers, and I use these all the time. This one is very light. There we go. Okay. Let's see. And oh, for these, I forgot that you have to shake them up. I think that's why this one didn't do so great. Look at this. They're all different colors. And just to see them like that, I like to see them best when it's out like this. Now, here's an orange, but it's in the same family. So I'm going to do that. And here's like a peach. Let's see if I can do this. And also, sometimes if you if it's not um, for these Posca markers, you just press down on it and helps bring the paint to the end like that. There we go. These are so popular and everybody loves these, especially me. So look at all these great colors. Um, here's that light purple. Okay, so after I did these, these are the two Posca markers. These are all Posca markers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write here, Posca, whoops, still wet, Posca pens. And I'm going to put it from here to here. So those are the Posca pens. Now, here is another thing that I use all the time. And these are solid markers by Sakura. And they have thick ones. They have thin ones. Let's see. These are purple. Here's a red. Um, this is a yellow. Oh, here's another red. I'm not sure if this is the same or not. No, I think they're a little bit different. So let's do these. Okay. That is a neon. That is fantastic. Look at this. This one. And you just twist it. If, it, if, if you use it so much like I do, you just need to twist it. There you go. It's hard to do. <laughs> there we go. And it just goes up. And here's this. And sometimes like, okay. With watercolor paper, this is cold pressed, so it's kind of um, has a, a grain in it, and so you might have to go back and forth a little bit. Now, here's another one. Look at all the different colors. Oh, there we go. Here's a different color. Here's the neon. I actually use the neon a lot more than I ever thought I would. And we have two more. Here is, these are smaller ones. So I'll just do one down here. Sometimes you want a thicker and sometimes you want a thinner line. So, and I'll do this here. This is like a pink, a little pinker. So I'll do that and then put on the side here, um, solid marker. By Sakura, S-A-K-U-R-A, -A, if you're interested. And yes, I smeared that a little bit, so it might be a good idea um, next time to put some paper on top of it so it doesn't smear, or just let it dry for a little bit. And then I'd go like this, because that's this group. So you see how this works. I'm going to push this aside. So um, after you have this, you just keep going through all your markers, all your pens, and then you do a whole list of them like this and then write what they are so what you can refer to them. And I would actually let this dry overnight because oil pastels and some of these other ones just need a little time to kind of be still for a while. Even if they, you know, they're not really um, wet, they're not, some are like paint, some aren't, and some are oil, some aren't. 
So just let it sit for a while, and then you can put this in your, re in your resource binder called markers. Um, so if you like something like this, please look below. I have a beginner course that I think you'd really learn a lot from. I give all kind of tips and tricks just like this. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.